Well, uh, this week we're going to have an attempt at making a 3D mosaic effect cross. Now you can either put it on something like this, show you a little stand how to make that, or you could put a ribbon and hang this on the wall. You can also do it both sides if you wish. Now you're going to need to print out the designs that we're going to give you. You're getting that one, which is the main design, obviously on the full sheet of paper. You've got the next step by steps like that. You've got all the bits and pieces and that allows you to make something like this. That's the stand I show you how to make. But as I say, if you want, you can take this and just hang it. Look fantastic if you glaze this using the glaze or you could use a, a yacht varnish. Uh, there's the stand. Show you how simple that is to do. Just slot that in between. And that'll stand up perfectly. So I hope you enjoy this week's download. Give you the backing papers as well. So uh, have fun. Listen, when you've made them, please send us pictures so we can put them on the page and show you what you lot have been making. Hope you like the new haircut. Looking more and more like George Clooney every day. I, I know. Brass. Thinking what? Like Bross. 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 What did they sing? I want to be no famous. Idea. No idea. Vera Lindsay's era. All right, that's your dem for this week. Enjoy making it. Now you need to print off all of the images to make the 3D mosaic effect cross. That's the main image there. Then you've got the next section down. Then the next section. And finally, the next sections that make up all of that. Next, all you have to do is cut out carefully around all of the printed pieces. Now, I've got some of the foam board here. It's basically card, foam and card. You can get this in black and white. I've got a nice black one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this onto it. And the easy way to do that, I'm going to leave a gap at the bottom because I've not decided whether to hang this or to stand it. So basically what you'll do is you'll turn this over, scrap piece of paper underneath, just some ordinary PVA glue and just brush that over the back, all over the back. And then you turn that over and you position that onto your card. Let's see, I'm leaving a border at the bottom there so that I can decide what to do. Now I've already done that on the opposite side here. As you can see, I've got this stuck down perfectly onto here. Now this board cuts really easily. I've got a metal ruler here and my scalpel. Make sure you've got a nice sharp scalpel. And then all you have to do is line up your metal ruler. Just carefully cut through and do that all the way around until you've cut the cross out. Now I've cut out the cross completely from the foam board. You can see I've got a nice solid base to work on. So now I've taken all the other pieces and I've put some double sided foam tape on the back. I've just stuck this onto some wax paper so I can just take it off easily and stick this down. Now you just need to stick this down as accurately as possible. And there you can see you've got the cross in 3D. Now, you can see I've left this edge on here. That's if I want to stand it up. But if you want to, you can cut that off and then just attach a ribbon on the back here 
and then you can hang that on a wall. You can also varnish this as well, which will give it a really beautiful ceramic effect. Now this is one solution for making a stand for the cross. I've cut out a large rectangle here and then I've cut two smaller ones in different sizes and the idea is that we'll stick these two together leaving the gap in between and then this will slot in there and we'll make it stand up. Now I've stuck these two together here. Now I've taken a scrap piece of the same board which is the same thickness as the cross and now what I'm going to do is use that just to go in between as I stick the next two bases down. So just repeat what you did before with a little bit of glue on the back. Like so. Put your piece of board in between so you know that the cross is going to fit in there perfectly. So push that right up, make sure that's standing up right and just let that glue set. Then put the next one on, leave that in between and then when it's all dry you can, should be able to fit your cross inside. So as you can see that's stuck down securely now. The centre piece here you can take that out and then your cross should fit in there perfectly and will stand up.